Please subscribe my channel. And press the bell icon button like comment share. And I'm Vicky Sanstrillo from Archer's Choice and the Choice TV. I'm Kevin Wilkerson from Trophy Ridge, and I'm here to show you how to set up your React V5. The first thing you're going to want to do is side in your 20 yard pin. You're going to do this using your micro windage and elevation blocks that are also toolless. If you're shooting to the left, move your sight to the left. If you're shooting to the right, move it to the right. Follow where your arrow is going in order to side in your 20 yard pin. After you get the 20 yard pin sighted in, step back to 30 yards and use the master drive screw on the bottom of the sight housing to dial in this distance. You'll notice that turning the master adjustment screw just a quarter turn barely moves the 30 yard pin, while the 60 yard pin moves substantially more. This is the React technology at work. Once you have two pins sighted in, React technology makes it mathematically impossible to be inaccurate 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 yards. Thank you for your interest in the Rack V5, and make sure to check out all of our other exciting products. Hey everybody, Donna Candy Kiska here from Whitetail Freaks. Yes. <laughs> we want to take a few seconds to talk to you about Apex's new sights for 2016. And the sight that Don has on his bow is the Covert One Peg, and it has the world's first quick change pin technology. That's right, it's very simple to change. With the removal of one Allen set screw, you can change pin diameter and pin size in seconds. Another nice feature this sight has is a 1.8 inch aperture window. And I love the glow in the dark shooter's ring, especially for our hunting situations when we hunt in the blinds all the time, it's dark inside. For sure. Any low light situation, that glow in the dark ring just helps you get on that animal that much more quickly. One of our favorite things on a Covert One pen is the detachable sight bracket. Yes, this is very cool. Just unscrew the screw and your whole bracket comes off that easy. It's That's just awesome. It's perfect. For those backpack trips or you go to, you know, getting ready to go on a hunting trip, you put your bow in your case, you find out the sight sticks out too far. Not a problem now. Just take it right off. It's pretty simple. And it has the five preset positions to where it goes right back on your bow exactly where you had it. setup. Detachable bracket design, easy bow storage, precision machine aluminum sight construction, stainless steel mounting hardware, adjustable long range yardage stop customizes maximum yardage setting, adjustable yardage pointer for left and right handed shooters. Hello. And I'm Vicki Sandstrul from Archer's Choice and the Choice TV shows. You know True has got a whole bunch of new products out this year. And we can't wait to share them with you. The Carbon XS Extreme, it's an ultralight carbon composite archery sight. This is a site that I am telling you is absolutely amazing. 
They added more driven features than ever before, including a longer mounting bracket, extended windage and elevation adjustments, larger aperture, and even brighter pins. The ultralight carbon composite construction, this site weighs less than 4.2 ounces. It has the True Flow fiber design, which is an extra long fibers for maximum brightness. Here's some of the other things. It's got a reversible bracket for greater vertical adjustability. Right, and it's adjustable for left or right handed. Again, the new glow in the dark shooter's ring is alignment for the outer aperture ring for improved people lighting. Right, it's also included with a removable push button LED light. It comes in black, real tree extra, AP pink, lost, and lost AT camos. Bottom line, really excited about to use this fall. This is an excellent site, one of my favorites for sure. Has a lot of great features on it. The main thing is the scope housing has crosshairs with a power dot in the center. And the awesome thing is it has 11 different adjustments on it. You can go real dim if you're in a blind or you can go real bright if you're in a tree stand. Scope housing has crosshairs with lighted center dot for superior long distance accuracy. It's ultra smooth, easy one hand adjustment. So that way when that buck's out there, it's crunch time. You can get that sight exactly where you want it. You can do it quickly and easily. Aperture housing also includes vertical and horizontal tilt adjustments. Adjustable second and third axis level. You know, along with the glow in the dark shooter's ring and the crosshairs being built in with the power dot sight that has 11 different adjustments on it. It's machined aluminum. This is a June right now. We're just coming off of turkey season. And for turkey hunting, I like the simplicity of using a single pin sight. And this season I was using the Trophy Ridge Alpha Slide sight. And this is because the shots I take at turkeys are rarely over 20 yards. So with a single pin sight, there's just no guesswork. But when it comes to shooting longer distances, like practicing at the range like I am today, or shooting 3D shoots during the summer, or deer hunting in the fall, I prefer to use a multi-pin sight. What I have on my bow today is a Trophy Ridge React H5 sight. It's a five pin sight that incorporates their uh, React technology, which is really cool, and I'll show you how that works. So first up, I'm gonna sight in the 20 yard pin. Okay, so my three shot group at 20 yards was about four inches low, and this top pin is actually fixed in the sight housing. It doesn't move like the rest of the pins. So you use the micro windage and elevation adjustments to dial in your 20 yard pin. So now that I'm set at 20, next up is the 30 yard pin. And now I'm gonna use the master adjustment knob to dial in at 30 yards. And notice how turning the knob only barely moves the 30 yard pin, but the bottom pin, the 60 yard pin, moves substantially more. That's the React technology. Okay, the grouping is still about two inches low. So we use the master adjustment knob and drop down the pins just a little bit more. Well, there we go, three shot group, all dialed in at 30 yards. And with the React technology, now that means that 40, 50, and 60 are automatically sighted in. So that's it, I'm sighted in, five pins, 20 to 60 yards, in a short amount of time with a minimal amount of work. Hi, I'm Kevin Wilkerson, Associate Product Manager at Trophy Ridge. We're dedicated to bringing new and reliable products to our loyal customers year after year. Introducing the Clutch. This is a crossover site that delivers both target range performance with the ability to quickly acquire yardages in the field while hunting. The friction drive system creates smooth and repeatable movement for precise pin placement. The clutch is 100% machined aluminum, has stainless steel hardware, micro windage and elevation adjustments, and second axis adjustments. Double-sided tape enables both target and hunting performance simultaneously. Essentially, you can use one side for target adjustments with a different arrow trajectory and use the other side for your hunting rig with a different arrow trajectory. The fine point needle is located on both sides for precision adjustments. The threaded housing also has an ability to accept an optional one and three quarter inch lens, which is not included. When the moment presents itself, whether it be a target or an animal, be clutch and know that you're using the most reliable and trusted brand in the sight industry, Trophy Ridge. From everyone at Trophy Ridge, thank you for your interest in the clutch and be sure to check out all our other innovative It does not interfere with your shot. This is very key because that's going to be where you're always doing your ranging, which will help you locate those pins faster. Now, while holding the bow extended from your body to simulate a full draw position, check that you can see easily through the optic. Now, this is a key point. 
if needed, adjust the vertically curved dovetail so that you can see through the sight easily. The next step is the calibration. When you turn on your device for the first time, you're going to be choosing between yards and meters. Next, you're going to want to adjust your pin brightness. Now know this, the zero will apply your preferences based on the amount of light in your specific shooting environment. The primary LED is next. You need to adjust your primary LED used to aim the laser rangefinder. I personally and everybody else recommend setting this pin in for about 20 yards or 18 meters. But if you shoot long distances, you can set it up for 30 yards or 27 meters. Know this, the range you select will not affect your ability to range game targets out to 100 yards. Another key point is the pitch and yaw. Use the pitch and yaw adjustments to align the aiming reticle to your eye. When the reticle comes on, line up the primary LED, which is the red dot, with the center circle. The arrows indicate small adjustments you need to make to the sight position. Next up, when you're at full draw, you should only see the primary pin in the middle of the aiming reticle. Move the body of the sight the same way you want the LED to move in relation to the circle. The zero will ask you to make sure your primary LED still shoots properly. Make any horizontal or vertical adjustments, then check your reticle alignment and adjust it if necessary. Once you have set your first range, step back 10 yards and follow the exact same process again. Zero will ask you if you want to use that range to calibrate. I suggest shooting a few arrows at this distance. Zero will ask you if you hit the target. If you didn't, enter the information Zero asked for and the pin will adjust. This is very important as I've spent a lot of time practicing with this bow. What I found is making those adjustments is going to really pay off when it comes time for that shot of a lifetime or when you're target shooting. Step back another 10 yards and follow the exact same process again until you're comfortable with that group that you're shooting. Set up as many ranges as you want. Make sure you calibrate out to your maximum range. I actually have a pin set to 82 yards right now. Then go into the hunt mode. In hunt mode, press and hold the trigger button, which will turn the reticle and primary LED on. Line them up and continue to hold the trigger to take a range measurement. The pin needed to shoot, that distance will appear. On the screen, you'll see the line of sight distance on the left, the true horizontal distance in the middle, and the angle of the shot is on the right. Now, if you've set up any fixed pins, you can see them quickly by tapping the trigger. Your pins will blink for five seconds before timing out. Just tap the trigger to keep them on or to bring them back up when they do time out. To set your pin timeout length, it's very simple. Go to settings, pins, then hunt timeout or practice timeout, depending on which. Thanks for watching. Product by link given in description.